we went to a movie and we're, we're done with the movie right now, but we just came home. Yeah. Ooh, your chin looks bad. When did you bump that? Uh, I bumped it yesterday. On what? Jay, do you know what on he did to his, his chin? He bumped it on the... He was trying to ride Floki. Oh, yeah. it looks bad. Like this. Oh, well, you ought not do that. That was actually like this. Right, and he, he was calling. It's like swollen, too. And I fell off my chin. Right there. Went this morning. We went and grabbed some donuts and went to a movie. We just needed a little bit of family time instead of work time this weekend. But um, I am sick. So I've been taking my elderberry syrup. I think I just have like a little head cold because it's all like right here. And Ollie's got a little bit of it too. Uh, looks like Jay and Audrey and my dad are clear of it, so it's just me and Ollie. But we've been drinking our tea and uh, our elderberry syrup, and we got everybody else drinking their elderberry syrup just in case. Jay's gonna try to get a little bit of work done today. The freeze finally got the kids' garden, so I need to rip all this down and give it to the goats. We got a couple loofah, but they're not good enough to like they didn't make well enough to actually make into loofah they're too too solid in there we had a ton of these jelly melons look how many there are all those little green balls you see are the jelly melons i know one thing and that's that i won't be doing jelly melons next year they're nasty I don't know if it's just that they never ripened. I had some that were like an orangish color, but I don't think I'm a fan of the flavor, even if they were to be fully ripe. I don't know. But at least, you know, we tried them and uh, it just wasn't for us. Oh, Miss B. Ouch. We did have a little bit of an incident uh, yesterday. We had gone somewhere. I don't even know where we were, but when we came back, we noticed that the dogs didn't come to the fence like they usually do. And I thought they had just gotten out or something. And I looked down here and they were dragging Miss B, which is our largest goat, on the ground. And I thought for sure that she wouldn't make it. So we ran down here. Um, Seems like one of them dug under the fence. Well, not really dug under the fence. One of them saw an opportunity to get in and they did. And then Miss B's gonna be the one that fights back. That's just her. So I think that's the whole thing of it. So she has like a couple cuts on her neck um, from the dogs. It was really just Ruby, pretty much. <clears throat> but she's got like some cuts on her neck and then like a little spot on her foot but she's not even, hello. She's acting like it didn't even happen today. So I had some, I had some antibacterial spray uh, that we used when Ruby got attacked by a goat. <laughs> so I guess that's her thing. She has a vendetta against him, I don't know. But she had a little hole in her leg and the vet gave me something for her wound care. So I had a little bit left over from that and I've been putting it on B and she's actually doing really well. Uh, she looks fine and uh, she's acting fine. Isn't that right B? She's okay today. She's tough but there's like that's the worst one right there on her neck. When lights go out You're in Stevie to bring balance to the herd. I'm hoping that I get well quickly because I don't really have time to be sick. 
I don't like missing videos. Don't like what? Missing videos. Missing videos. I didn't post one Sunday. Oh yeah. Sunday videos, no, no go. It's all right. Sometimes you gotta take care of you. Look at that. That's why we have so many problems. Right there. Cause the little goats that have horns do that and get stuck. Yep. Mainly this one. Oh. Boom, close up. From the moment we held on to things we cannot see. I would cross the sky forever. It's only just begun. I know you will agree. Things to make us all feel better. What I may have, what I may own, I give it all. Like a desert in the sun. Somebody abandoned me to go check the hog trap. I guess that sounded like more fun. Got the bed cleaned up pretty good. I'm gonna leave some of the roughage in there to kind of protect some of that dirt that we got in there. Got different plans for that garden next year. It's gonna be a little bit different. Ollie's a little upset that he doesn't have a house anymore. So I may take some like waterproof fabric or something and kind of weave it through there. Uh, Maybe make a little something for the winter time for him and Audrey. Oh, I hate being sick, guys. Really, all I want to do is go inside and go to bed, but that's never been an option. <laughs> Take our time 
dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind my mind so just sit with me talking to the night until the morning building chemistry i don't think i ever want to go come closer next to me trying to find another way to say this but i think i think we were meant a break I have to take breaks uh, especially today because I'm not feeling good but the freezer's never gonna look new again I would like a stand-up freezer I think it would be easier for me to see what's in there I have a hard time like figuring out what's in the freezer <laughs> but there's a lot of food in there and I think where you might do like a pantry challenge this week and try to eat out of our pantry and our freezer pantry freezer challenge so we may just do that because we have enough food in there to eat for months and I need to get rid of by get rid of I mean eat a lot of the meat in there and stuff so we have room in case Jay gets a hog or a deer because we have tr you know the traps and he's going hunting and right now we don't have any space to put any meat if he gets it so we've got both of our laundry bags baskets I can't even think today both of our laundry baskets are full of food the little one has vegetables and fruit and then the big one has meat you keep me on my feet I move to the beat my favorite song keep it on repeat please don't let it fade just sit
I just put all of our fruits, frozen fruits over here. The ones on the ledge are things that I can make jelly with and uh, kind of the stuff we've picked ourselves, the good stuff. And then down below is like the store-bought stuff. I've got one pie shell. I've got some raw milk in the bottom and then some guacamole and the rest down there are vegetables. There's lots of broccoli and cauliflower. In the tray, it's just things that we either use often or need to use or like kid snacks, treats. And then all in this corner is meat. So we've got a good bit of a deer down there and some wild hog sausage. And then those two chickens that we found. So now we can actually find things in here. I know I look horrible. I look like I'm sick. I, you can totally tell. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some hydrotherapy tonight. Um, I always do that when I'm sick and it makes me feel a lot better. I should have done it earlier this morning. But like I said, we kind of got up and went out the door. But when I do my hydrotherapy, I usually do like a minute and a half on hot water in the shower. And then 30 seconds on cold, as cold as I can stand it. And I do three three cycles of that and end on cold so if you're sick that might be a good tip for this cold and flu season is uh you know get a little hydrotherapy some elder sip elderberry syrup some tea i'm gonna make myself some tea right now but check out this uh little plant that my grandma gave me when i was up there last week how pretty is this gorgeous I've got to find a, a pot. I, I have plenty outside. I just have to figure out which one I want it in. I brought in this mint. I need to like pull the sticks out and uh, clean it up a bit. But I repotted that this morning. Nope. And then there's Fred the fiddle leaf fig. I thought he was going to die on me. But he decided to start growing back midsummer. And Jay repotted him and brought him inside. And then this fig tree. I, I thought it was dead too, but uh, seemed to have survived. Still remember when you walked into the room. Think I knew right then that it was always you. Something in your eyes, it was all so true. Step I took, they all led to you. We were young and running free. We were never meant to be, but I could not see you go. The kiddos are out there with Jay learning about gun safety. We've been testing out the Build Your Library curriculum this year, and we're really liking it so far. Little House in the Big Woods. Uh, the Laura Ingalls Wilder books are part of the curriculum that way. So we've been baking bread and making butter and it also has a little section where you teach your kids about gun safety. So I think that's pretty cool um, that it's kind of built into the curriculum. That can't be good for that. was even sitting on the handle. <laughs> Freak! <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? So I cleaned up the bedroom and Jay helped me like pick up the house a little bit. It's not like clean, clean, but I rested for a minute first. And then I put on some potatoes and corn and Jay is outside grilling us some pork chops for dinner. So when, see that's two sides and it's just like, it all takes the same time. So I just throw the trivet in there I guess that's what you call that with about two cups of water and then put my potatoes and corn on top of that put the lid on 30 minutes of manual they both cook perfectly every single time we got the boss out here cooking us our dinner pulled off of here oh can I see Ooh, pulp chops. 
fucking butt rude. Come on. They look so good. I really want them to get out here uh, to our garden area and start picking that stuff up too. But I think I did a little too much today, as it is, <laughs> for being sick. So I think that cleaning up the kids area and getting that ready, winterized, and getting the freezer cleaned out and space in there, I think that was enough for a sick day. <laughs> that was enough. I also cleaned up like half the porch. Still got this other half to do, but I need to do some serious organization so I may uh, start working on that a little bit this week all this stuff I'm gonna like put in bins and label it it's all of our tools and we really need it up here and it's honestly a little bit of a pain to have to like go get what you need uh, because we use it so often so I think now while we're still finishing the house we still got a lot of projects going on I think I can just make that look better be there still for our needs and then just look better so i'm gonna work on doing something with that i've got to brainstorm and make that look a little better earlier jay got the chickens waters cleaned out he got them fed and taken care of i really need to put new hay in their nesting boxes and give them like some new flooring and we have a bale of hay that the bought like the corner of it molded and it's not fit for the goats I don't want to even chance it I would never give them like moldy hay at all so I'm not even willing to like leave that part out and give it to them just in case but it'll do for the uh, chicken nesting boxes and their flooring to poop on I never felt tomorrow closing in this fast oh I guess time's in a rush Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back while I'm on a one way track. Right, Daddy? Yes. 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 What are we talking about? We can actually find stuff in the freezer now. Yes. What are we yes. talking about? <laughs> yeah, as Jay likes to say, turn that mister into a sister. He totally said that. Is that inappropriate? <laughs> a little inappropriate. What is that chicken doing over there? That rooster's running around like it's running from something. But it's not even running. He's weird. Did you try to eat my goat? <laughs>